So right now, this is the very first stage of the fabrication and the first stage of the build of the car. It's, it's, it's in its, it's rough, okay? We know it needs paint, we know it needs everything doing, but you've got to start somewhere. So the way this combination will work is, it's a 500 cubic inch big block Mopar. It started off as a 440 that's been stroked to 500 cubes. We've got a Mopar mega block. We've got 572-13 CNC Nindy heads. We've got an F3R Pro Charger. It's a centrifugal blower. Inside the car, we've got a liquid air in a cooler. So the way it works is it draws air in through the back of the blower. Uh, in an effort to make the car more streetable, we've removed the piping that used to run up out of the bonnet and through here, and we'll run it through the inner guards on the car. Now, the tricky part is right here. Originally, we had a plenum that came up and over, and it had a big pipe that came out the side, and it went straight to the intercooler. Look, that worked really well, but there were a couple of issues with it. First of all, you've got all this crap hanging out the bonnet that just screams, pull me over when a policeman sees you. So what we've done is, as it had a bolt on top, we've machined a plate up that goes on top, We've got two CNC 1100 CFM billet throttle bodies on top, and we've built a plenum on top of that as well. Now, it probably would have been easier just to put a single four barrel manifold on it, but look, we've got a great looking manifold. It's already plumbed, the EFI is already fitted in there, and we figure we want this thing to be able to go really hard aspirated as well. So we want to do it all the favours that we can in the, in the aspirated department. So, by building this plenum, what we're about to do is we'll have a pipe that runs out the back that'll tuck straight through the scuttle and into the intercooler, which means that when it's blown, it forces air straight inside. We've got a seal top there. But then if we want to run the car aspirated, it's as simple as undoing the top. We lift the lid off. We'll undo the clamp at the back, slide that off, put a k and filter on it and put the lid back on. We slide the blower belt off, turn a switch in the car. Suddenly we've gone from a 1500, 1600 horsepower engine to an engine that's going to make 780, 800 horsepower aspirated. We've got something that'll happily chug around on pump fuel. That's the first stage of the fabrication on this car. Now, from watching the Drag Week videos in America, one of the things that people complain about all the time, and you've got to consider it'll be summer over there and it's very humid, is overheating problems. Because I've campaigned this car for a great many years as a burnout car, I've really got a handle on what's going on with the radiator and the cooling system in the car. So down here at Sumo Fab, what we're doing at the moment is the radiator looks tired and ugly. It's done about 3,000 burnout competitions. It's had 1,000 repairs, so we're going to shot a new radiator in it. And underneath the car at the front, we're going to put an air conditioning pump on it because we want this thing nice to drive. You know, it's hot. If you're going to be sitting in a car for a week on any one air con, so we've got Brett Pilts from Wagga. He's going to come over and plug a plumber air conditioning system on it. And as you can see here, here's the old bonnet on the car. And it's, well, it's mostly not bonnet. Now, the new system we'll have on the car will be just a flat bonnet with a Camaro 6-inch cowl. And instead of having this enormous hole for the air to be drawn in through the blower, we're going to fashion a nice air intake that'll sit inside the Camaro cowl scoop. So at the moment, it's in a very raw stage. We've got a lot of stuff already achieved. We've got new pipes made. We've managed to put a full drags to pan on the car so that we can get the car nice and low to the ground. We've already lowered the back of the car six inches because the car needs to look good as well. You know, it's not about going fast entirely. It's about going fast and looking good. So that's where we're at at this point in time. <laughs>